Hello, all my creative family. Welcome, welcome to Creative Events. Um, so I'm going to be teaching you how to do that adorable gnome with all those interchangeable seasonal pieces. I'm so excited to show you. So in your kit, what you're going to have is you're going to have a solid piece of wood like this. You're also going to have three brushes, your mama, your papa, and your baby. You're gonna have your plastic apron. It kinda looks like a lobster bib. So you're gonna have this guy. You're gonna have your paints as well. So they're gonna come in little baggies like this and we need a bit of brown, so there's gonna be this as well. And also, you're gonna have your kit and it's gonna come with your gnome and your gazillion little pieces that go with it. So cute. Um, so you're also going to get a paint plate that's going to come with it. So I have some, some paint colors out. You have every color in the rainbow in your paint kit because you have so many different holidays that you can interchange with. I mean, Jewish, there's, let's say, do you got the pumpkin, the Christmas tree, the watermelon, uh, the maple leaf. There's all kinds of different little things that you can add on there. And I'm so 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 excited to show you and a little trick for all the little arms out there is there's actually a layer of paper so grab a toothpick and there's I don't know because you see that and there's actually a sticker so why that is done is because if you want to paint a certain spot at a time but you want to protect other pieces from getting that color on it you can do that, and I think I got them all off. Oh no, I didn't get the, I didn't get the shamrock part off. So you can take one thing off at a time, or one section off at a time if you want, and you can just peel it away using a toothpick. So that way, it stays the line, the paint lines stay nice, crisp, and clean. So I got that down for you. Um, also too, anytime you want to message me with any questions, please feel free. I'm more than happy to help you out. Also, um, don't forget to like and comment, share, show your pictures pretty please on my Facebook page or send me them. Uh, messenger, email, or website, which is creativeevents.com. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Also, please, if you had a great time, write a review. And I also like constructive criticism as well. So please, please let me know because I want you guys to be happy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a paint plate out. You might actually need a couple. Um, first, you see this nice big swimming pool of brown? So what I did is I put my brown into my plate and then I added water, which you will need just a, this is my, this is what I wash my brushes in. Um, you're going to need a cup of water to wash your brushes. What I do is I literally steal the water from that, put it in there, mix it around with my brown paint. And you can do test samples on the back of your piece. Um, the, the thinner it is, the more grain will show through. Um, the less water in it, the more solid brown it will look. So it's up to you if you want like a more solid brown look, if you want more grainy wood look, then thin it out, definitely. So and I already did this part just so we didn't have to have fun watching paint dry. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paint this board. I'm gonna take my big old brush I'm going to just put it right in there, try not to give my hair any highlights, <laughs> and I'm just going to paint along. Now, stain is super duper messy, so this is why I use acrylic, and it can give you the same look. Now, don't forget to do the tops and sides as you go along. Also, you know, if you want to do the back, you can. I use a little trick for a hanger because those sawtooth hangers are sometimes a little bit of a PIA. Um, I actually use, you know, the flathead tacks. I use flathead tacks, stick them in there, wrap the string around them, and then use it as a hanger that way. And it's super cheap, super easy, and it works super well. So there you go. You just add that water to your paint and see how it has more of like a grain look to it. So it looks more like a stain, but we don't have the stickiness of a stain, nor do we have the smelliness of a stain. It's all with acrylic paint still. So 
what we do is we just continue painting that. So see, now you have your nice, beautiful brown board. It's up to you which way you want the grain to go. Do you want it this way? Do you want it this way? Whatever makes your heart happy, that's what you do. So, what you do is you let this piece dry. While you're letting this dry, we're gonna move on to our good old Nomi Nomi. So, our good old Nomi Nomi, he's right here. Isn't he adorable? So, I'm gonna take my brushes. I used them earlier, so I need to make sure that they're clean or cleaner. All right, now I'm gonna take my other paint plate now. Now you have these little nubby nubs for paint. So you can either use your paint plate, you can keep it in the nubby nubs, whatever, it's up to you. Whatever makes you happy, whatever works for you. So, and I know, do 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 do, I want his hat blue. So go ahead, you just paint your gnome. Do, 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 do. So like I, I just go slowly and gently. If you wanna use your small baby brush to do the details, go for it. I am a fan of my medium sized brush myself. I have better control with it, but definitely explore on what works for you. And uh, we got his blue hat. There we go. Now, and um, it's up to like what color you want his clothes to be. Um, mine was kind of like a bluish gray. So I'm gonna wash mine, my brush, my medium brush, and I'm gonna make like a light gray. Now, can you see how I am mixing my white and my black together? And I want it lighter, lighter, lighter. So I'm gonna keep adding a little more white to it. I think it's good now. And I'm gonna add a little smidgen of blue. So now I have like this grayish blue color. Now, remember, you're also gonna put all these little added pieces right here. All these little added pieces. These little arms are gonna be the same color unless you want to go different, but just kind of keep in mind that the sleeves, you might want them to match the body or the rest of the suit on the gnome. So definitely make enough of whatever body color, like this is what I'm using, make sure you make enough for all of these little pieces. It's like 10 little pieces. Make sure you make enough for those. I'm gonna go down to my small brush just to kind of get a little bit of detail in there right around the edges and I'm gonna go right around the edges of that beard that way I don't get right into that beard and I am gonna go ahead and paint his clothes now remember you can put on music grab a little something to drink if you want I just like it quiet so that way you can kind of add the music you want and it's not really competing with whatever you're playing. Um, I haven't broken the wine out yet. Maybe I will later. So, but I love doing these gnomes. They're absolutely adorable. I have gnome fever. I think a lot of people do right now. They're so just so cute and spunky. I think that's why I like them. There we go. Boop. And I'm going to paint the shamrock since that's why is it March 17th? St. Patty's Day, I think. Uh, let's see. I'm I, I'm up I'm getting up there in age. I should probably know by now. <laughs> um also too something to think about. Paint the sides of your gnome. That way it's just not a dark brown color right there when you see the sides. So that way your gnomey gnomey kind of looks good from the side too. So I'm painting the sides as I go along. Do, 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 do. And I'm not going to paint like, so there we go. 
There's a start for the little nomi nomi, but you can do whatever colors you want. 100% up to you. Now, you can paint all your little pieces. Um, you know, however however you want to do it, timeline-wise, whatever. I, I'm not going to paint every single piece. I don't want to lose your attention. <laughs> so, I'm going to paint. I already took all the stickers off this piece. I'm going to paint... Can you see that? There we go. I got to keep remembering not to put my fingers in front of the camera. I'm going to paint his matching sleeves. I'm going to go around the outside. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So I'm painting around his sleeves right now. Getting all those little details in. So you, you can take like a little piece of sticker off at a time and just uncover whatever color you're doing at that time. Total, or you can take it all off like I did. So it's totally up to you on how you wanna do those steps. But definitely make sure you peel off those little stickers before you paint. Or you're gonna be going, oh, nuggets, I messed up. Why is my paint peeling? Oh, I forgot to take the sticker part off. So I am just plucking away. There we go. Washing my brush off. And now I'm gonna grab some brown paint. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna do a little bit of mixology. And I'm gonna make the tan for the skin. So I'm adding a little bit of brown, putting it in a little bit into my white pile right here. And I'm gonna keep mixing it until it's the skin color that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna keep on mixing. Do, 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 do. Okay, so it kinda of has that skin color to it. That's what we're looking for. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that skin color. You can't really see it on the piece because it blends in so well. But I'm gonna put that on there. Um, both these little hands. I mean, you can make them mittens instead if you want to. But I just think of mittens in the winter time and we have all seasons for these little pieces. So I tend to do it like a skin color so that way it doesn't mean like mittens winter time. That's kind of how I think, but you can do it any way you want. So I'm gonna kind of let this little dude dry right now. I'm gonna go back to my gnome and I'm gonna do that skin color on his nose. So it's a nice light tan skin color for his nose. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of that dark brown after and kind of just highlight a little bit. So can you kind of see that, how I did that? It kind of looks a little bit different on the camera, but. We blended it a little bit more. See now he's got different he's got different tones on his nose. And you can play around with it till it suits what you're looking for. But kind of just give a little more oomph or character on the nose. Just a little more highlight around there. Do like a different highlight color in a circular motion. So that way it kind of highlights it. So, hmm, I don't want to give him shoes. I think I'm going to give him black shoes. So our little Nomi Nome will have little black shoes. There we go. He's got the cutest little black shoes. Make sure to paint the sides. There we go. So now we got little Nomi Nomi almost painted. We All we have left, and I'm washing the brushes, all we have left is his white beard and his white little pom-pom. So his white little pom-pom, easy peasy, done, boom. Ta-da! And then we just have his cute little beard that we fill in. 
So what I like to do is I like to go along the edges first with my small brush. And if you goof a little bit, you can always go back. No biggie. So I'm kind of going around the nose. There we go. And trimming on the hat. It looks like I'm going to have to go back and fix that blue. A little bit of the blue on the hat. So I just kind of go ahead. Now for the beard, I like to use a lot of paint because I like texture for the beard. So, and think of it like when you're doing the brush strokes and a lot of texture, think almost like arms on a clock. You want your strokes to go out at an angle. You don't want them to all go down. You kind of want them to go out at an angle like arms on a clock. And that'll give it, you know, and I do a lot of paint, so it gives it texture and it looks like he actually has more um, texture in his beard. So it looks a little more full instead of just a flat white. And don't forget to do the sides again. That way it looks nice and complete. Oh, and it looks, see, I forgot to do the top of the hat right there on the edge. You see that? So it's that edge, I want to paint that blue as well. So, but do do do. So I hope everybody is staying warm because right now it is like, I think been like 10 to been really really cold out but I keep telling myself March is around the corner watch people in June will be watching this video and be like what is she talking about but right now it's February when I'm filming and it is super cold out but hey when it's super cold out what's better to do but paint actually any time is a good time to paint. But I know with me, especially I've been in a lot and I'm an extrovert, so it's been like really hard to have things going on the way they have been, the restrictions. Um, Cause I love my people. I really do, I love my people. I'm a people person, I need you guys. Um, I'm definitely an in-person type of person, so it's been an adjustment, but I will take what I can get with you guys. So there we go. So I'm gonna wash my brush off and I'm just gonna do some touch-ups here because I went over a little bit on this blue right here. There we go, and just fine tune that. Washing my brush. And then I just went a little bit here and there too. So I'm just kind of fine tuning my fine lines. Do, 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 and I'm gonna fix his nose a little bit. I kinda went over just a little bit. I wanna fix his little handsome nose. Now, there's a little patch in the top. It's up to you how you wanna do it. I'm probably gonna go, hmm, what do I want? I'm gonna go with like a little like whitish patch, just a little bit. Just to kind of give it a little character, not too much. There we go, so he's got a nice little white patch in there. If you want to give more highlights, you can. Like I use my small tiny brush. And I put like little highlights on the top of his feet. Can you see that? And I'm gonna put like a little highlight here, a little highlight there, a little highlight right here. So it's up to you like how much character you want to give your little dude. There. So I like to give like little highlights here and there just so it kind of gives a little more oomph. We like oomph. So I'm putting my brushes away. Put this down and actually I'm going to finish. I got one more little spot right here. I got to do this adorable little shamrock. Uh, if you can tell when it dries some of this paint it gives like you know how like when you paint a wall and it looks two different colors as it's drying. This paint will do the same thing, so don't worry. Like, wait till it's 100% dry. Um, don't freak out. 
it's just it paints like paint on the wall it'll be like two different tones and that's how you can tell if it's fully dry or not um, so I'm gonna grab a brush let's see let's see what I got here I want that one and I want a tiny one tiny brush there you are and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint my shamrock green so I'm gonna be really gentle around where the arms are and the hands to make sure that I don't paint over them. So be real gentle when you go around the other pieces. Unless of course you haven't taken the sticker off yet or you have sticker to protect the other pieces. Me, you know, I like to do things the hard way. I just rip it all off first. Then I paint around it. But it's whatever works for you. Just remember there are stickers on these pieces. And you want to take them off so you can paint them. Can you hear my dog? She's snoring and talking in her sleep. She's right underneath my feet. <laughs> so we're going to paint that. Can you hear her? <laughs> She's dreaming. I wonder what she's dreaming about. There we go. The shamrock is almost done. So, to glue the little guy on, um, I use, you can, you can use regular Elmer's glue to glue them on. Um, I use my hot glue gun to glue them on. But it's 100% up to you. You can attach them anyway. You can attach them with caulking or silicone or whatever. Any type of glue. That's a wood glue. Will work. So there's my little shamrock for his arms. So for this little dude right here. Once he's dry, oops, <laughs> let's see if I can do this. Ta da! Once he's dry, look how cute that is! Oh my god, that's so cute! So we'll have the little interchangeable arms once it's dry. So at this point, my wood is dry right here. And I'm gonna move my paints out of the way. That way I don't make too much of a mess. Um, so I'm going to move my paints out of the way. And I think I'm going to... Mm, it's kind of naughty right there. And so maybe I'll stick them right here. Now, what we're going to work on now, and it's freehand. I'm going to wash my brush. And now is a good time, actually, to work on the lettering on top. Let's see if I find a safe spot for this. Which is Gnome Sweet Gnome. And so it's freehand. So I'm going to kind of lean it a little more towards me because I really stink at writing lettering on stuff. Um, so I need all the help I can get. So I'm going to aim it right towards me. <laughs> and it's just gnome, sweet gnome. And so what I do is I actually do the center lettering first. So I am going to write the word sweet in the center. just you know have enough paint on there just to kind of trace it out and then I keep kind of going back over it after because I want to make sure that I have it right granted have patience with me because I'm kind of sideways right now trying to show you what I'm doing Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. So there. 
there. So I have the basic, I have the basic size for those letterings. So go back over it, fine tune it. And again, I am not the best at lettering, but usually you can read it. <laughs> G, oh, whoops, I made this G a little bit, a little bit too high, and O, M, E. Okay, I think this one came out, this lettering came out a little funky because I didn't hold it head on. So bear with me. They usually come out a little bit better than that. But there's your gnome, sweet gnome lettering. Do, 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 do. So you have your lettering up there. Beautiful, beautiful. And so the next step is I'm going to go grab my hot glue gun. And I'm going to glue the gnome on there. So hold on a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue my little gnome. Okay, I'm going to center him right where I want him. Do, 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 do. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Look at that, look at that. Look how cute that is, guys. Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> so, I am excited. This came out so cute. And so, what you're going to do, or what you're going to need, is there's a lot of different ways to attach the different arms. I use like a little two-way tape and just stick it on the back. You can also use pieces of Velcro. Totally up to you on how you want to make it interchangeable. Um, so if you want to use two-way tape, you can stick it on. If you want to use um, the Velcro, you know, how it's sticky on one side and then, you know, the Velcro on the other. So that is something that you will need. And then all you do is you stick his adorable little arms on there. So you're going to paint all your pretty, pretty little pieces. And then you can go ahead and you can change it out to whatever season you want. So, ta-da! So, you get this cute little gnomey gnomey. And you have all these different holidays that you can now, it's for every season. So, it's perfect. So, I want to thank everybody today for joining me. And please, if you had a great time, um, share your pictures. Let me know your creations. Write a review. Um, let me know if there's anything else I can do. And I want to thank you guys so much. And I hope everybody's doing well. Bye. -bye. <laughs>